Good morning. In the previous video, we had discussed compaction of soil, in which we said that compaction is a form of compressibility property of soil wherein you expel the void spaces by expelling the air. So it's a dynamic process, compaction, when compared to consolidation. Plus, it's usually an artificial process wherein your intention is to densify the soil. And we discussed a few points about the laboratory compaction test using Proctor's mold and heavy compaction test, modified compaction test was briefly discussed upon. We discussed what the compaction curve is. We'll try to solve a few numerical problems in this video. Question number one. A lab compaction test on soil with specific gravity 2.68 gave a maximum dry density of 1.82 gram per cc at a water content of 17 percentage. Find the degree of saturation and the percentage air voids. So you are given with the maximum dry density rho d max 1.82 gram per cc. Now we know the expression rho d as g by 1 plus e into rho w. I can replace e in the denominator the void ratio can rather be represented by wg by s where w is the water content g is a specific gravity s is a degree of saturation and of course rho w is the density of water which you can actually take as one gram per cc or 9.8 kilonewton per meter cube in this particular question, water content is given as 17 percentage or 0 0.17. Specific gravity G is 2.68 and rho W I can take as 1 gram per cc. Plus, we are given with the left hand side LHS rho D 1.82 gram per cc. So, 1.82 equal to G 2.68 by 1 plus WG by S. W is 0.17, G again is 2.68, S is the unknown value, 1 is rho W in gram per cc. So when you give 1 here, you should make sure that the left hand side is also in gram per cc. So solving this equation, the unknown value S turns out to be 0.94 or 94 percentage, the degree of saturation. Now the second part of the question is to find the percentage air voids, Na. So I can make use of the second equation for rho d. 1 minus Na g by 1 plus W g into rho w. This is the equation that we discussed in zero air voids line. So rho d already given as 1.82. Na is an unknown value. G specific gravity is given as 2.68. Water content is 0.17. G again is 2.68 and rho w is 1 gram per cc. Substituting that, the only unknown terms are to be Na or the percentage air voids whose value is 1 percentage. Again, try to work out this problem on your own and check whether you are getting a similar answer. Next question. A lab compaction test on soil gave the following results. Find the OMC and MDD. Also plot the zero air voids line and five percentage air voids line for G equal to 2.72. Now this is a typical data that you get from the compaction test in the lab referee. Once you complete the compaction test in the lab referee, you'll be given with or you'll be having moisture content which you obtain from the oven drying method and the bulk density rho in gram per cc. So this is a typical uh, tabular column that you can expect from a laboratory compaction, proctor compaction test. So our intention is to get the OMC and the MDD which are the points corresponding to the peak of the bell curve. Rho D is the first thing that we want to find out rho d equal to rho by 1 plus w. Rho, the bulk density is given in gram per cc. W, the water content is given in percentage. So we need to convert that to decimal. 
12.85 will be 0 0.1285. So rho D corresponding to the first column is 2.06 by 1 plus water content 0.1285. So rho D turns out to be 1.82 gram per cc. Likewise, you can have the rho D for the second column. 2.13 by 1 plus 0.1428. So Rody is 1.85 gram per cc. Likewise, you'll get dry densities for all these values given. The bulk densities are given here. Water content is given. So from which you'll get the dry densities for all the five values listed. 1.82, 1.85, 1.1428, 1.1428. So when you plot the water content and the dry density in gram per cc, which means the last two rows, you'll get a plot like this, a bell curve. And once you plot that in a graph sheet, a decimal graph sheet, you can find the density, the dry density corresponding to the peak point, which we call as a maximum dry density, and the water content or the moisture content corresponding to the peak point, which we call as which we call as optimum moisture content. So I'll get MDD and OMC. Roughly it turns out to be 14.9 percentage OMC and maximum dry density is 1.87 gram per cc. The second part of the question is to plot the zero air voids line and the line corresponding to 5 percentage air voids. So I have the compaction curve here. Now I'll have to plot the 0 air voids line and the line corresponding to 5 percentage air voids. So I have the equation rho d equal to 1 minus Na by 1 plus Wg into g rho w. So 0 air voids line is a line that corresponds to Na equal to 0 because you have zero air voids and also 5% air voids line is the second part. So to get the points for zero air voids line you can substitute Na equal to zero in this equation for each of the water and the coordinates would be like this 1.98, 1.94, 1.90, 1.87 and 1.83 for zero air voids line. Likewise, for five percentage air voids line, you need to substitute Na equal to five percentage or 0 0.05. And the coordinates for five percentage air voids would be 1.88, 1 1.84, 1 1.80, 1.78, and 1.74. So when you plot dry density for zero air voids line versus moisture content, you'll get the zero air votes line like this and when you plot the third row 1.88 1.84 1.80 1.78 and 1.74 against water contents 14 15 16 17 and 18 you will get a line like this which corresponds to five percentage air votes next question this is an application level question as per the compaction specification a highway fill has to be compacted to 95% of standard proctor compaction test density. A borrow pit near the project site has a dry density of 1.65 gram per cc at 100% compaction and natural void ratio 0.61. The specific gravity of the soil solids is 2.65. Compute the volume of the borrow material needed to construct a highway fill of 5 meter height and 1 kilometer length with side slope 1 vertical is 1.5 horizontal and the top width of the fill is 8 meters. This is an application level question which means assume that you are an engineer at the site where an embankment is to be constructed the dimensions of which are given in the question. So I have a sketch the dimensions are shown here top width is 8 meter you have 1 kilometer or 1000 meter length embankment 
height is 5 meters and the slope is 1.5 horizontal, 1 vertical. So the dimension is shown here, the top width is here and the bottom width can be obtained from the slope given. Length is 1000 meter or 1 kilometer and the height is 5 meters. Now in order to construct this embankment, you are taking a soil from a borrow area near the project site. The properties of the soil from the borrow area is given here. 1.65 gram per cc at 100% compaction with a natural voids ratio of 0.61. So you are asked to compute the volume of the borrow material needed to construct the highway fill. So we have a borrow pit here or a borrow area in which the soil has a dry density of 1.65 gram per cc and the natural voids ratio of 0.61. I am transferring soil from this borrow area or the borrow pit via truck loads and depositing to form the embankment of this dimension but the embankment has a different density. Now to start with we need to find the volume of the embankment. You have the top width 8 meter and the base width can be found out from the height and the slope. So the base width is top width 8 meter plus 2 times height 5 into 1.5 the horizontal ratio. So the base width is 23 meter. You have an embankment whose top width is 8, bottom width or the base width is 23 meter and the height is 5 meter and the length is 1000 meter or 1 kilometer. So to find the volume of the soil within the embankment, you can find the area of this trapezium and multiply it by 1000. So the volume is half 8 plus 23 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 1000. 77500 meter cubes of material is required. Now let's make use of the three phase system diagram. You have solids, water and air. The total volume is 1 plus E where solids is 1 and void ratio is V, v equal to void ratio E. So the total volume is 1 plus E based on our three phases of diagram and the volume of the embankment that we have here is 77,500 meter cube. Now the borrow area has 100% and field has 95% of standard proctor compaction test density. These are the data already given in the question. So the dry density of the highway fill is 0 0.95, 95%, multiplied by 1.65. The value already given in the question. So the density is 1.57 gram per cc for the highway fill. Now the void ratio of the highway fill is g by rho d minus 1 equal to 0 0.69. Uh, now this is from our basic relation rho d equal to g by 1 plus a into rho w. So rearranging you will get g by rho d minus 1 equal to e. So void ratio of the highway material fill is 0 0.69 and the dry density of the highway material fill is 1.57 gram per cc. Now let's make use of the three phase system diagram here. Let the borrow pit's volume be VB and the fill's volume be VF. So I can take the ratio of VB by VF as 1 plus E by 1 plus E of borrow by fill or VB equal to 1 plus EB and VF is equal to 1 plus EF. So VB by VF equal to 1 plus void ratio of borrow pit by 1 plus void ratio of fill. Now the volume of soil required from the borrow area VB is 1 plus EB by 1 plus EF into VF. 1 plus EB is a void ratio of the borrow pit. EF is a void ratio of the fill and VF 
is 77500. So VB, same equation, is 1 plus 0 0.61 by 1 plus 0 0.69 multiplied by VF equal to 73832 meter cube. In short, you need to take 73,832 meter cubes of soil from the borrow area and transport to get the fill. 